was uh, to, to set an initial an initial key point uh, to get the clubs here aware of the potential of young African players or young Liberian players. Once this team now is using this chance and have a, a, an outstanding performance, or some of the players have an outstanding performance, yeah, of course, the clubs here will be aware now of Liberia. Of course, if I tell them next year, in two years, there is another other, other 17 generation with the same level or better level, they will listen. Yeah. But for now, it is our initial uh, idea to, 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 to get aware, to make the, the clubs here aware of this team, aware of this country. You know, Liberia is not this well-known football country in Europe. Huh? This was what, what I'm working since some years already to make Liberia more more uh, uh, important in the football uh, football world in in in, in uh, Europe. Huh? I mean, it's also a budget. <laughs> you can imagine these are thirty people. Um, you have uh, and we took all all the costs here in Europe, including half of the flight costs. So, I mean, I told you the, the, the place where they will be uh, staying, uh, they, there's everything. They, they can train wherever they want. They can eat. They have very comfortable rooms. So this is uh, something which has uh, costs. Yeah? But uh, how much from your end? If we're looking at how much from your end, you and your partner put in this trip, if we'll talk about money and how much is more than 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> because huge money to bring 30 people, 31 people. I don't people want to tell, to tell exact, but it's, I can only tell you it's far more than 20,000. Wow, that's that's huge money to invest in Liberian football, believing yeah. in the future of Liberian football. And I hope, I hope that the boys will pay it back with their quality, but also with their character and loyalty. This is also something which we are expecting. Yeah. It's okay, something- their loyalty and quality. Sure. It's also, my partner is a guy who is spending a lot of sponsoring uh, money in fo mainly football, but also in other sports. Yeah. And for him is also a little bit uh, the social background, giving someone a chance to get up. And uh, yeah, I mean, of course, I was telling him also not only about these players, but also about the country, Liberia, about the situation in Liberia, about the past, the history of Liberia. Uh, of course, it's something which is also not only football, but also a social uh, uh, topic. Yeah? How this how this uh, country has to struggle during the, the, the civil war, during Ebola, all these things. Yeah? It's, it's something which, uh, which raised the, 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 the opinion in, in, in him to support this guy. Yeah? Because uh, compared to Europe, uh, it's easy for our guys to play football at any club they want, if they're good yeah, enough. Yeah, 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 it's if not they're good enough. For African players, and especially it's not easy for poor countries uh, uh, like like Liberia. And this was the, the reason, besides that, of course, I have a very close contact to Liberia since few years, because of players we were talking already last time, uh, starting from Oscar Dolly, Alan G, and some other players. Uh, also my contacts to the, to the LFA, uh, to Mustafa Raji, to Seku Kone, um, and now to, to Ansu Keita, which is very important for me, because for me, Ansu is something like an integration person. He's yeah? the guy who has the authority of the boys. He is like a father to them. Um, he's respected. This is very important for me, too, because he is the, the link to the boys. Yeah, between you and the boys. And uh, yeah. but if I will ask you a question, uh, you went to Liberia over and over, and you saw yeah. how Liberian teams play in the league, how the national team play, how the club team play, and we saw Keita coming with one kind of football. The whole country work on is the ball possession game. 
do you think with the talent in Liberia, if we are able to mix play possession football and use possession football to express our individual talent when the, the game is, when the chances come in the game, do you think possession football is a kind of football Liberia should start embracing? I'm sure because, uh, you know, what you need for possession football, you need physical uh, situation that you are always be aware also in your in your head, in your mind, not getting tired fast because you have to be very, very clear in your mind, uh, not only in, in your body. Uh, the guys have it. You have to 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 find uh, technical uh, to have technical skills to find the right decisions and and this is something which like players or it uh, even african players have yeah? the style here which is in austria for example it's dominated by red bull is this pressing system you know with a pressing system you just have to work 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 yeah? is something which which African players they have not in their in their DNA, you know. Yeah. African more like to play, but not Ex to expression. Play. A lot of expression uh, on the ball. You know, if a striker has to play as a right defender, uh, it's not in his African DNA. Yeah, he is more a different uh, style of playing, and I mean ball possession in this way is. I think it's a good idea to focus on this special system. And uh, you, you've been working with uh, a lot of Liberian players and Alain, your own player. Uh, you saw him nearly getting promotion in uh, uh, Saudi, I mean, Switzerland. It's gone season. Uh, over the years, Alain managed to play more than 2,000 minutes last season. Big, big boost for him. Uh, if you look at Allen start of play, uh, are you looking for another Allen in Liberia? I mean, uh, you can find a player like Allen, maybe. You can find a fast winger. You can find a defender which is playing smart, which has the... The, the the attitudes of a defender, so um, or you you find a striker. I think every position is possible to find. Uh, I mean, I'm not looking for a special. You know, when we took Oscar Dolly, the first player from Liberia, we took from, from Liberia to 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 Europe, a total different style of to Ellen. Yeah, so you you. If there is a player who has the the, the, the possibility to play like Alan, nice. <laughs> we would we would take him. Yeah. If he has the the, the the attitudes and the possibility to play like former George Weah is a striker, yes, I like it. <laughs> so you know, it, it, what what every player has to have is a special weapon. Like you will see also with the top, top players, it must be a special weapon. So either he's extremely fast or he's, he's, he's technical extremely good or is physical extremely good. But some of these quality, uh, uh, qualities has to be special. Okay. This ranking above of the other players. If it's every, every skill is good, he might be a good player in Liberia or in an African country, but we need a special one because, uh, you know, uh, you need some player who has these special skills or one special skill. This is important. Yeah, it's a big, a big uh, event. Uh, you went down to Liberia and uh, you saw the players in the 17. I know that maybe you had their names and resonated on the 17 coming up from Liberia you we uh, it's something screened that you don't have a lot of noise about oh this player was on this team before the, the, this program but he's not there we still see the same players that you guys saw on the honor 15 they went to the honor 70 just maybe one or two new faces how you managed to you and Keita managed to keep this group of players you guys identified nearly two years ago 
Yeah, I mean, the identification and the scouting is a local program. I was not involved in this program. I, I saw this team first time when it was set up more or less uh, uh, fixed. The same are now in the under 17. Uh, 